So the second Paul Moore's final. This is over the Grand National Course. And distance, as we can see, there's only about five of them in the handicap. I think the 137 rated Leon Van Rensburg horse off 9 stone 12 has got a very good chance. Anyway, National Man for Joshua Southern, the Gentle Bay for Leon Van Rensburg, April Fervet, David Robertson returns to the scene of his winning crime. Darren Thompson's friendly vantage, David Robertson's Roosevelt drop, Leon Van Rensburg's Fire Lord, the one I fancy, Darren Thompson's Frozen Hope, Pedro Hogan's Chemin de Fay and Tintzin Frile, David Hooley's Ideal Art, Alex Jerry's King of Windsor and Velvet Sky for Craig Beckwith, make up 12. Flags raised and they're racing. And they'll now race down to the first. This is race 35. This is the second of the Paul's Moors finals. The first was won by Leon van Rensburg. Sends two here to try and make it a Paul's Moors double. Lost one, Shemin de Veo, the diver, hit, the jockey then got off a little bit later. So, Patrick Hogan loses one. He's still got Tintin Fryl in here as they go over the second. They're all still on their feet. So, King of Windsor, Frank Cherry leading us here. Couple of advantage from the Wall of Horses, the one up against the rail, I think, is April Furbert, Grand National winner of earlier in the season. will be looking to try and do the double. Oh, we've lost one, and it's April Ferbert that's gone. Looking at the rest of the race, and the Grand National winner's out of it. So, won't be following up in a double. Lucky to David Robertson, would have been thinking he would have done well. Then we'll get over the fifth well. Sorry, I missed that. But we've got a couple of loose horses as well. But it's King of Winds that leads from Frozen Hope. We've got Ideal Art and Tintin for our friendly vantages. The one second Darren Thompson horse. Beaches, uh, they all clear that well. Another one that just stood off it a little bit was Velvet Sky. So King of Windsor still leads from Frozen Heart Out. Ideal Art and Tintin Frau up against the Rallies Fire Lord. A little wider is National Madam as we get to the seventh. They'll clear that as well. The one that pecked really hard on landing was Friendly Vantage and shuffled back towards the rear. Rosabel Drop, Gentle Blade and Velvet Sky. That's King of Windsor. Cherry takes them down to the canal turn for the first time. Makes it well, and they all clear it. So King of Windsor from Frozen Hope in second. And Ideal Art and Tintin Frile, the National Madam. File order against the Rail Rose Bot. Rosabelle drop between those and the Gentle Blade. Friendly Vantage and Velvet Sky. So they will take the night and clear it well. is the Gentle Blade and Firebird, Fire Lord, sorry. And we'll get over that as well. Again, Velvet Sky was a little bit sticky over it towards the rear for Craig Beckwith. Blue Silks, White Cap, White Sleeves. We're being taken along by King of Windsor. It's a couple of lengths away from Frozen Hope, and then a further three away from Tintin Frile. Day one. Not really 
something I should mention, but uh, he was obviously well chuffed. Not sure about the rest of us. It's a bit peculiar. I think he even won a grade one hurdle with a chaser. A little bit suspect for Martin Needham's horses this week. But it's King of Windsor that leads this one. He's got a 6-7 length advantage now as he goes over the 15th. Most of the pack are behind. Bit of a wiggle on. Still plenty of time as it gets the water. Here Windsor. Still leads. Eight length advantage from National Madam, the Gentle Blade and Tinson Frile. And Fire Lord and Frozen Hope. Ideal Art and Velvet Sky. Just at the rear is Rosabelle Drop. Showed a bit of form in the last couple of weeks. So there's a chance in this one through just over two miles now and it's still this King of Windsor that leads them out for the final circuit with an eight nine length advantage from National Madam and the Gentle Blade. We'll look to close this gap soon. King of Windsor. That'd be Charlie. Yeah, not a big Royal fan. Anyway as they go over the 17th and they all clear that. It's King of Windsor that still leads. Probably advantage eight lengths now. Well, let's clear it. A few of them off and on the bridle. But it's King of Windsor that's led the pace. Oh, and we've lost one. It's friendly advantage. It's gun took a bit of a dive at it. Darren Thompson loses one of his runners. He's still got frozen hope. Bang up against the route. I think it's the 20th. And we'll clear that as well. Three here, so just nine of them left now. The lead of King of Windsor's down to just three. As Fire Lord's got closer all the time. So go over the 21st, and we'll clear that as well. And King of Windsor from Fire Lord, it's in Fryl and Velvet Sky, and Frozen Hope and Ideal Art, the Gentle Blade, National Madam, and Rosabelle will drop our bat marker just a couple of lengths off the pack. Again, and they'll clear it well. So, King of Windsor, a couple to fire, Lord Frozen Hope moving up well on the inside. The ideal aren't built this guy and Tintin Frile together. And over that, this King of Windsor's come right back to the pack now. The ideal aren't Frozen Hope and Fire Lord within half a length now. Tintin Frile just takes a, a breather. finally gets headed on the canal turn by Ideal Art and David Hooley in the purple, all purple silks and Frozen Hope and Fire Lord King of Windsor starting to shuffle back a little bit now get to the 25th, 6 from home we've lost another and it's Tintin Frile and Patrick Hogan's lost a couple now I think he actually won this race last year might be wrong but he's not going to do it this year as so they get to the next which they all clear I do want that now leads us from Frozen Hope and Fire Lord, King of Windsor. We need to have some boots to pick back up again. As they get to the 27th, they all clear it. And it's Ideal Art and Fire Lord, Frozen Hope and National Madam. Gentle Blade, the King of Windsor still there, but off and on the bridle. Now length and half back to Velvet Sky and Rosabelle Drop as they come to the 28th. They all clear that as well. And it's still this Ideal Art, but all the horses now. So they're going to come start turn shortly to head for home but it's ideal art holding off frozen hope that's just nosed in front now from gentle blade and fire lord so they head towards the turn just five furlongs left to run a couple of fences to take it's still this frozen hope ideal art gentle blade and national madam making up some ground out wide is velvet sky and rosabelle drops coming out of his talon charlie position Fire Lord, and then just towards the rear is King of Windsor now, as we thought, but it's Ideal Art just by a nose from the Gentle Blade that takes it up now. And it's the Gentle Blade coming down to the penultimate. The Gentle Blade from Ideal Art and Frozen Hope. Gentle Blade gets over it well, as well as does Frozen Hope and Ideal Art. Rosabelle drop, but the Gentle Blade's got a couple of lengths advantage now as we come down to the last. The Gentle Blade from Frozen Hope, Rosabelle drop, National Madam, Ideal Art, and Fire Lord, and Velvet Sky, and King of Windsor. But it's the Gentle Blade comes down to 
the last. But a couple of legs advantage over it well from Frozen Hope and National Madam. Rosabelle drops not really picking up to its the gentle grade. Inside the final fell and a half from the Frozen Hope and National Madam. We're going to try and wind it in. But it's the gentle blade with a two length advantage still from Frozen Hope and National Madam. Is Leon Van Raspert going to do the two balls? Millions, millions finals. Back to back. It certainly looks like a half a firm and left a run. And it's the gentle blade from Frozen Hope National Madam. Rosabelle drop. But it is a quick five double on the double on the day for Leon Van Rensburg takes the second of the Pauls Moors handicaps final over the Grand National course and fences well done with the gentle blade one that was in the handicap that's a good win there so not wanting to share the Pauls Moors finals Leon Van Rensburg takes the second one with the gentle blade frozen hope for Darren Thompson was second national madam for Joshua Southern was third, Rosabelle dropped for David Robertson was fourth, Firelord for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth.